What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a look at Gammonmon. Now, Gammonmon is a Digimon. And shout out to Digimon.fandom.com for providing the image on the screen here. Gammonmon is a Digimon who, who didn't exist like a month ago. According to Digimon Fandom, it made its debut in a Digimon reference book that was released on September the 21st, 2021. Gammon Mon is extremely new. And yet, today, I am going to show you three new Gammon Mon cards. Although I only have a translation for two, I'm really sorry. It's weird, right? Super weird. And I'm going to show you a brand new product which we've never seen before. In fact, let's start there. Let's start with a brand new product. Now, shout out to DTC G Review for the information on this. This is called the Start Deck Special Entry Set, which is scheduled to be released on November the 26th. Now, this is actually being listed as ST11, which is the next starter deck, which is the one we talked about the other day. And I told you that it was going to come with a deck box and things of that nature. Well, now we have more news. So if we go back to the image I showed you the other day, what we've got here is a full deck plus a deck box and some memory gauges. And the good news is we can see some of the cards. And the bad news is <laughs> we have no idea what the Gammon Mon does. Now I have... Asked around a couple of people looking for a translation. Unfortunately, that one has not come around yet. I do apologize. If I can find one, we will do an update video. But it's clearly got an inheritable and a non-inheritable skill. And it's interesting to note that it's a four cost to play normally, which is expensive for a level three. And generally speaking, if a level three is a four cost to play normally, that means that there is something about it which is particularly impressive. A reason for it to be a four cost to play normally. But we've then got some reprints. So, for instance, we've got a reprint of the Starter Deck Agamon. Now, this is the one that gives this particular Digimon, the one that's Digivolved from it, an extra thousand power. It's a cool card. It's got cool artwork. It's not an amazing, stunning card, but it's a nice one to, to have a reprint of. Similarly, there is a reprint of the Starter Deck 1 Greymon, which is kind of cool now this greymon does actually see a fair bunch more play because this is a greymon that's just got an inheritable skill that gives security attack plus one and i've seen this pop up in a bunch of decks because it's a standard level four that gives you an extra security attack i cannot be the only one that thinks this is extremely cool it's a really cool card it sees a bunch of play everybody loves it We've then got a reprint of the War Greymon that came around in BT1. Uh, now, not the first War Greymon, of course, there was one in the starter deck, but the one after that. And it is obviously the red one from BT1. And what we've got here is when you're Digivolving, you gain security attack plus one for the turn. And on your turn, this Digimon doesn't activate any security skills on option cards that it checks. Not a stunning card that's seen a huge amount of play, I'll be honest with you. I've seen a bunch of War Greymon decks, not this War Greymon, but it's still rather lovely anyway. And then we've got the Gammonmon, and I want to know what it does. You'll notice, obviously, that the deck box in which it comes, and also, right, giving us a starter deck in a deck box. Why isn't this just a thing? Why isn't this just a standard thing? And I don't just mean in Digimon, right? I mean in every card game. Why does every starter deck in every card game not come in a lovely deck box? I mean, if you want the actual answer, it's cost. Essentially, to do that would cost more money. And that would increase the price of the deck. It would also probably have to be a slightly larger package overall, which might increase shipping costs, which would increase the cost of the deck, etc., etc. So, okay, fine. There's a reason why they don't do it generally, but I love that they're doing it here. And I am, I'm going to go and buy like 17 of these just to show Digimon, assuming there's lots of stock if it's in short supply. Obviously, I'll leave some for everybody else. I just want this to sell out and sell super well so that Digimon go, we should keep doing that. That's a wonderful idea. But if you want some Gammon Mon for which we do have translations, how about this one, which is going to be a magazine promo in the not-too-distant future? 
And I believe this is red, but it looked a bit green at first. I'm going to be honest with you, right? I'm colorblind. Colors are, colors are awkward. But looking at it now, I'm fairly sure it's red. I'll check with my wife before I upload this video just in case. And what we've got here is a four cost to play normally. 4,000 power, I want to say. So, bit expensive, but also kind of powerful. So, not too bad. I believe that's also a one cost to Ninja Evolve. I could be wrong about that. We have a very bad image. And yet, somehow, we've also got a translation, which I don't fully understand. Somebody must have a better image than I do. But what we've got here is a skill that says, on your turn, if you have a Tamer, this Digimon can attack your opponent's active Digimon or unsuspended Digimon. Remember, there is a general rule here in the Digimon TCG that you are only allowed to attack suspended Digimon. It means that you can play Digimon, and it's a very good reason for it. If we didn't have this rule, then your opponent could just take out all of your good Digimon before they got a chance to Digivolve, and that would kind of ruin the game. So, there's a reason you can't attack them. This one, you totally can. Now, you've only got 4,000 power, yeah? Let, let's not go crazy here. It's not exactly going to allow you to take out everybody instantly. But what it is going to allow you to do is take out some little Digimon that you think are going to become threats in the future. Ah, okay. The image that's actually on the screen is an unobstructed image. Here's one with a watermark that shows you a better image. So yes, I can confirm that it is a one-costed Ninja Evolve, as we rather suspected. So this is a really cool skill. I like this, but it's expensive, right? For a level three, this is really expensive. Four cost to play normally is more than the average cost of three. And, you know, you've got to pay to Digivolve. Well, we don't generally pay to Digivolve level threes. Level threes, we Digivolve for free. So if you're telling me it's a four cost to play normally, which is expensive, and I've got to pay to Digivolve it, there needs to be something here. Which gives me a good reason to play it. I think the skill is it. But do bear in mind, you know, yes, you can attack unsuspended Digimon. And yes, that's rather lovely and brilliant and awesome and wonderful, etc. But we've also got to bear in mind that it's not exactly hyper powerful. And there is every chance that it's not going to last five minutes. You have been warned. I believe this one is going to be a magazine promo in an upcoming Japanese magazine. So that's something to get a little bit excited about. Now, the last Gammon Mon is finally one where we've actually got a nice clear scan. Which is nice. It means we can actually have a good old chat about it. Now we can see here that in terms of stats, we've got a free cost to play normally, zero cost to Digivolve, 3,000 power. Absolutely standard for a level three. But then again, most of the ones with really good skills actually get down to 2,000 power. Does that mean we should be a little bit worried? Does that mean it's actually not a terribly good card? Eh, it's all right. The, the problem is you've actually got to have an Amanakawa hero in play in order to actually use this card. Now, as it stands at the moment, and I've searched over on DigimonCard.dev, which is definitely the place to search for this, that, that, that tamer's not in the game. There is no one of those tamers. Now, I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong about that, please do let me know in the comment section. Maybe I've been searching the Japanese name, and I should be searching the English name and all of that, but I can't find it, ladies and gentlemen. And I've gone and Googled it and looked at Wikimon.net, and that tamer does not seem familiar. I'm fairly sure this is a tamer that isn't out there, although this kind of tells us that tamer is definitely going to be coming along soon. But if it's in play, this Digimon gains 2,000 power. And it is as an inheritable skill. So essentially, if you're playing a hero deck, yeah, why not? This is a good boost to power. You know, we've seen these starter deck Agamon in this exact video that gives you an extra 1,000 power. With the right tamer in play, this gives you an extra 2,000 power. Do it. I mean, if you've got hero in play, this is just a way better version of starter deck 1 Agamon. If you don't, don't play this card. Just don't. It might not go terribly well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Three new Gammon Mon, only two of which, unfortunately, we have a translation for. But you know what? I'm a little bit excited. I kind of like Gammon Mon. 
No idea this was a thing until a day or two ago when the first one got revealed. Now there's two more. It was time to make a video. I am definitely going to be ordering that starter deck. That sounds like fun. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this stuff. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wasi Plays.